It was a wild tour at one point. We're going to Amsterdam to support this band from Wigan, The Verve, our first international gig. So this guy picks us up in a van and he's going to be our roadie, Jason Rhodes. Yeah, Mark has got in touch, went right, we want to come to Amsterdam. I went, yep. <laughs> And I said to him, all right, nice to meet you, fucking forget that. Did they give you a float? And he's saying, no, 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 it's for petrol, so never mind petrol. And we took the float off him and then spent about an hour driving around Manchester getting drugs and then set off. Get on the ferry. I don't know how we get on the ferry, because we're pissed, but we get on this ferry. As fate would have it, there was a load of West Ham fans on this overnight ferry. It's got a casino on it in the fucking nightclub. The Thursday night ferry to the dam. He goes to Amsterdam on a ferry for the weekend. What kind of clientele? The drink of choice for a few hours, champagne and Jack Daniels slammers. The next thing is that sporadic fighting is breaking out all around us, really. Liam is very excited by the prospects of a lot of chaos going on, and he goes and joins in. Yeah, it was fucking mayhem, man. I loved it. You can see him running through the windows along the deck. He's having a great time. He looks like he's in a school playground chasing leaves. Liam at one point said they ran through a casino and he flung all the roulette shit off the table as he was running past. Then as a fight broke out, and all I remember was it was a bit Benny Hill. The next time I see him, he's still running, but he's got policemen running after him. Someone's punched someone, someone's kicked someone, someone's got nicked, and then we're handcuffed, sent down to the bottom of the boat. We get locked up. Woke up next day and I spoke to the customs and I said, look, you know, I, I'm kind of missing four people. Do you know where they are? We were heading back, not having any money. Couldn't phone anyone, couldn't do nothing. I can remember getting to the hotel and having to ring Marcus and Alec. And they're going, you fucking what? You what? And he says, you fucking blown it, you blown it. But that was pulled up, man. Management, fuck them. They would listen to a word them clowns said anyway, you know what I mean? I call McGee, and I'll never forget this, and this is another reason why I love McGee. I said, are you sitting down? I've got some news. Everybody's been arrested. The only word he said was, brilliant. A hell of a start, that, innit? That's a great first day at work. Love it. <laughs> Oasis were deported from Holland last week after they were involved in a drunken brawl on a cross-channel ferry. The creation act were forced to... I thought it was great. That's how I want my rock and roll stars to act. Stick up for themselves, get in a bit of shenanigans, and that's it. We live to fight another day. To me, it felt right. The thing about getting thrown off ferries, blah, 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 getting deported, is something that I'm not proud about. But I am now. Right, well, if you're proud about getting thrown off ferries, then why don't you go and support West Ham? Get the fuck out of my band. These lot think it's rock and roll to get thrown off a ferry. No, don't. To get... Shut up. These lot think it's rock and roll to get thrown off... Shut, shut the fuck up, man. These lot think... <laughs> I'm going to have to say this, Fat, are you going to shut up?